Here we go into the final term. 16-9 plays 13-8. Sydney wants the first one. If they're going to uh, make a real challenge for this. Out of the centre, McManus tries to take it away, and the youngster does for the Dockers. Towards Hutton. Can't mark, but great recovery, and is going to be paid. What's that for? Or over the neck? Too high. He's paid it over the neck. The thing about John Hutton, though, is his recovery is quite good. Uh, I was going to mention he at times does tend to go to ground a bit too much, but watch this. Probably should have held the first place. The free kick was for a, well, chop behind the head. It must have been. It was looked pretty wow. insignificant from here. Very ordinary. Pussy. So now he's looking at his seventh goal. Hasn't kicked one at this end of the ground today. Coming into this match with four goals, seven to his credit for the year. And he's, I reckon he might have missed that, has he? Yes. 6 4, Sandy. First set. <laughs> so, 20 point margin. The Swans can never be written off. They usually fight games right out, as uh, Adelaide would know, last week when they kicked 11 9 in the last term. But certainly they'll have to play a lot better than what they did in the third term. And Fremantle took right over. Is the kick in by Doreen to the halfback area. Man was held. McManus showing that pace. A quick kick out in the direction of Burrows. It sits for him. But the wrong way it went. Here's Caven. And he's got to kick it. Out wide is Troy Gray. Now will it sit for him? It rolls over the line on centre wing. And there's Troy Gray. He's had a pretty ordinary day, actually. He's found it pretty tough. Rose has been good. That's a free kick. Oh, I thought Burroughs got into his back then. Round the boundary line goes Kapler and over. So again, Rose will do battle with uh, Burroughs. Rose front position. Burroughs got the big leap. Flicks it over the back. Creswell. Kick it. Oh, through that back. And the umpire said exactly yes. that. He scooped it up, and you can't do that. <laughs> Dale Kicker doesn't agree. It's a kick here to uh, Troy Gray. He's on centre wing. A crowded forward line. Gray kicks it wide to the half-forward area. Bays in front. Tries to hook it down with the left hand. Parker over the top. Here he is, Scott Chisholm. Clever hand pass. McGovern. Back to Chisholm. He loves a run. He's going to back himself in. Oh, One bounce. Great Some shepherding. good shepherding. Three bounces. Will he go again? He comes through the middle. Oh, terrific to watch. Up towards Wills. Towards half forward is Caven. Caven's going to... Oh, he should have kicked it. Stop mucking around in defence. Here's Brutton. Two players coming at him. A quick hand pass. McManus is there. And McManus went without it. Now a chance. O'Loughlin to Bays. Back it comes to Garlic. Garlic, a wild hand pass. O'Loughlin. Garlic again, the chip pass, Lockett, he's got O'Reilly to beat, I wonder how fit he is Lockett, good tackle by the big fella, still going on with a terrific play, Tony Lockett. There's some good work in that uh, last three or four minutes by Greg Madigan, the, the shepherd on Lewis was terrific, Lewis uh, found it pretty difficult to get up, he's had a pretty ordinary day, Dale Lewis. Yes, he certainly would have felt that shepherd, no question of that. Leach. Bouncing his way into the back pocket. That's the way they do it. And the way they come. And Irish to halfback McGovern. Swings it wide to the outer side because Leach had made space over in that position. Looks up towards Abraham on right half forward. Winston has three goals to his credit. One in the first term and two in the third in a very exciting burst. Man and Rose. Man does well. In towards a full forward. Caven defends. He pokes the ball out the back door. Dunkley got it towards Huskis, who was well tackled. Wardell Johnson goes in strongly. Hutton is there. Ruse in hot pursuit, and he runs out of room. Will sees it over the line. That's great pressure by John Hutton. He was yep. the tackler then. And then uh, kept the pressure on. Good to see that from the forward. Six goals, four to his credit to date. Big day for John Hutton. 
one of his best. Kelly, claim. The ball spills free. Wills had it for a moment, but then lost it. Allen looked for the free kick, didn't come his way. Burrows gets it back towards Allen. From a standing start, he pumps it in towards the forward zone again. Wardell Johnson at the back couldn't take the mark. Caven over the line. With him also was Andrew Dunkler. So forward pocket for the Dockers. Peter Mann had a better third term after quiet first half. Ruse to do the ruck work with him. Man held his ground. Wardell Johnson goes to go. The quick hand pass comes out to Ruse. Here's Doreen. Down towards Lewis, who waited for it. Gets in a hand pass. Garlic snaffles it. Oh, poor bounce. Lewis still going in. That's good play by Dale Lewis. Now he gets back onto the right foot. Off the side of the boot. Troy Gray is there, but beaten to it by Lynch. But actually ended up poor play. Because he had to kick it free on the other side, Pete. Derek kick it. So Quentin Leach. Oh, clever kick that for Waters. He leads everywhere here. Wills, if he kicks it out in front of him, Wills should mark. He does. And Wills certainly within kicking distance, 45 metres from goal. Just what? five, yep, sorry, Pete, just five and one for the day for Andrew Wills. And Scotty Waters, the player, giving it to him has been probably the best on the ground today. Well, he's kicking for his second goal of the game. He's hooked it, trying to get that extra bit of distance, and it's one behind to Andrew Wills from the Geelong half forward. But uh, at the moment, Ross just can't see Sydney uh, kicking back. Goals. No, they need to, they needed to get the first couple of this quarter, Pete, and show uh, some initiative get themselves going but uh, the Dockers have held them at bay and they've taken the initiative Sydney have not yet scored in this final quarter Burrows marks in front he's been a good player too Sandy particularly when he's been on the ball yeah, loves a leap and this sort of uh, turnaround from a kick out should never happen well, he's going to be kicking from probably 60 metres. It's a lovely looking drop punt. What a kick! What a kick for a goal! Oh, he can put it, Roscoe. Yes, he can. He can also read the play well, Sandy. He looks almost laconic at times in the way he runs and lopes around, but he actually knows where to go. And as I said, this kicking from Doreen, not good. And to boot it back 60 metres very effective he's gone straight back onto the ball with spider burton having a rest they've asked a lot of craig burrows center half forward and on the ball but he's doing it well so a tough task now for the swans let's see what they're made of as we see uh, creswell on the left boot coming now towards half forward there he is chisholm reading it beautifully as usual goes wide the leech he's having a, a terrific second half leech Oh, coming right round the boundary line. Exciting stuff. Still going. We ran a long way without bouncing it then. Still going. Over yeah. the top he goes. His man. Back to Leach. A hand pass. Winston. Over to Winston Abraham who races in the goal. That is magnificent football. Fremantle bucket. Four goals to Winston Abraham. And a tough task now for Sydney. Yes, and the preparedness then, uh, starting with Scotty Chisholm in the back half to give the leads, and they just back themselves. There's Chisholm following up with a shepherd. And they're just instinctive handball here. Even though some of their uh, players are under pressure here. Man, quickly, leads quickly. And Abraham, gee, good kick from there. So here we go out of the centre once again. The Dockers have been running right. They've booted eight goals, seven, while Sydney have kicked nothing. Allen, a chip towards half forward. Kick it, couldn't take it. Kelly does for Sydney. What can they do to get back into this game? To stop the run, Brunton comes away. Towards centre wing, Lewis takes a diving mark. Dale Lewis swings up towards half forward. Bays. Waiting down in front, McManus. Out of trouble once again through Chisholm to half-back McGovern. O'Reilly's running down the ground. Lockett's got to give chase. Away goes O'Reilly's man. 
Look at that is chasing him. O'Reilly to the cheer of this big crowd. Gets underneath a drop puck. It's high, but so too was Hutton. He couldn't take the mark. Caven comes away. Kicks towards the half-back line. It may be taken over the line, or will Rose swing round and keep it in? He does, just towards centre wing. Gray is the flyer, and he marks in front. Under 13 minutes remaining. The Dockers look in control. Unless Sydney can do something special. That isn't the kick they want from Lewis. McGovern, a bit of a shove on kick it. Gets it away. Allen may have a run here, but sits. Lewis chases. He's tired. Allen bounces his way to the 50. He's had two from 52 metres. The skipper sets sail behind. How's yes. that for a captain's goal? That's brilliant, isn't it? Well, they're sitting up and telling us something today. You better take some notice. And the ball is to Andrew McGovern on half-back. Watch this contest. Just got to kick it out of the way. Possibly in the back, but uh, not badly enough. And then the kick to find Allen was spot on. And Allen just backed himself. I thought he was going to run too wide and make the angle more difficult. Could have straightened up. He had man to come across and assist with a shepherd. Classic kick. Exciting stuff by the Fremantle Dockers as they're on a real roll. The bounce. Rose has tried his heart out at those centre bounces. There was Waters again. Rose went without. Scott Waters has been fantastic. Here's Norrish. But the umpire comes in to bounce. Gee, Waters has played a fine game. He has. And Creswell starting to uh, just follow him everywhere he goes now. Ron Barassi would realise the danger of Waters. But it might be a little bit too late. Here's kick it. Doreen. Kelly has faded out of the game. The chip pass is on. Here's Brunton. Now, where's Big Lockett? Lockett. He can give it to him now if he chips it in. Good lead by Lockett. Oh, poor kick by Brunton. Way over Lockett's head. Here he is. Scott Chisholm has a bounce. The racehorse. Away he goes. And brings it out towards centre wing. Have a look at this. Oh, the tunnel ball job. Out there is Burrows. He's caught. The ball hits the deck. Here's Norris. Oh, they're finishing full of running here. Here's Miller. Out wide is Burrows. They've got loose men everywhere as Burrows goes down towards the pocket and he finds Hutton. Hutton is a beautiful kick. He'll have to kick at 55. He's way up in the boundary. I think he might have a shot here. He's Leads quite, are on. He's quite a long kick, Pete, but he struggles for accuracy at times. Well, he's uh, kicked six goals. The way they're going, you'd almost back him. <laughs> and he's looking inside to see if he can give a short one. But I have seen him kick some very, very long goals, Hutton. He's kicked this one up high. It's slightly across the face. They're going to fly. Oh, McManus went early and almost took it. But the umpire will bounce. Inside the last ten and a half minutes. And defensively tapped over for a behind. Sydney just finding it so difficult to score. They haven't as yet in this term. Dockers have added uh, three goals, three. Garlic from half back goes in towards his captain in the centre. And he doesn't let him down. Off to Darren Kepler, who kicked the goal in the second quarter. Down towards the half forward line. Lock it to oh. chance. Look out on coming through. And he gives it to the left-footed Leon Higgins, who's in the right position to goal from there. And he finally breaks the Sydney drought. Well, the boy from Tokemal gets his first, and Sydney's first for a long, long time, Roscoe. Yes, he's had a pretty tough day. Chisholm just, uh, just overran it, and, and Lockett, who's uh, found it difficult to get opportunities, particularly uh, when Riley's run off him. He hasn't got used to the fact that O'Reilly will do that quite often, but limited opportunities coming to lock it after the half-time break. Found it pretty tough. So Burton comes in to do battle against Rose. It bounces the way of Rose. He flicks it back to Lewis. Out wide is Creswell. Creswell up towards Lockett. Put the mark. 
Still going on with it, though, Big Tony. Knocks it out. Good played. Troy Gray kicks. It's close. It's a goal. It's his first started fullback and a couple of quick goals for the Swans, Ross. Yes, they've got some tough weeks ahead of them, Pete. Uh, we just, just watched this again on replay. Uh, Collingwood at Victoria Park as Lockett just makes a contest of it. Madigan just overrunning it a little. And then Troy Gray drawing a bit of a run on the forward line. But Collingwood at Victoria Park, then Carlton and Richmond, they've got some tough weeks ahead of them, Sydney. Troy Gray gets his first. Burton sets himself against Rose in the centre. And an infringement is going against Sydney. Oh, gee, coaches would hate that, wouldn't no, they? No, that's terrible. So Burton is going to take it. A healthy advantage with a big kick down towards Hutton, who's trying to do the work from behind. Wills, can he control it, the former cat? Well, he gets a kick, but it's high and wide and not too handsome. Out of bounds on the fall. Seven kicks and three marks. And a crowd of almost 22,000 here at the Wacker Ground in Perth. Gray was up high, all to no avail. Rose gets a hurried kick towards centre wing, towards Bays. Not the way he want to finish his 200th game, Roscoe. Yeah, it's been a bit sad for Mark Bays. Uh... He certainly would like to have teammates have helped him a fair, but he's alternated uh, today between centre-half back and centre-half forward with Paul Roos. But, again, another player found it finding the game pretty tough. From the throw-in, Burton's height advantage, a telling factor once again. Mops of hair at the bottom belong to Dale Lewis and Scotty Waters. And Chris Mitchell. He's number four. We'll have a bounce. Lewis through, got boot to it. Now Allen. Chance to set up something here. Kick it goes back to his captain. Centering Winston. Look at him go. From 40 metres, he heads behind and bang, there's another one. Give us a smile, Winston. You're doing a marvellous job. 2012 plays 15-8. Well, I might have to give him a couple of weeks off from playing one and from another couple off because he's come back with a vengeance hasn't he just uh, watch his set up again his explosive pace and his ability to balance having exploded away from his chaser Ben Allen just featuring just keeping the ball in motion kick it again who's had uh, quite a bit of the football about 22 touches and watch his pace as he break I mean Leon Higgins the chaser isn't slow and he doesn't make any ground on him at all and then he steadies as I say and just finishes off so very well so Winston Abraham has kicked five Hutton has kicked six Here's Dale Lewis, who's tried very hard in this final term. McManus has showed a fair bit. Benny Allen, he's going the long bomb. It's off the side of the boot. Dunkley back with a fly to the ball and a finger tipper. A good mark. On to Caven. Caven a bounce. Oh! I think Peter Caven's got to learn to run his 10 and then kick yeah. it out of defence. Exactly. He's not really a finesse type player. Play the percentage. And it makes it look worse when you're wearing gloves too, Ross. <laughs> <laughs> it really does. Uh, we might be a bit old-fashioned, I think. Even Gary Ablett had them on yesterday, the gloves. Now, here's Creswell. Off the side of the boot. It's all Fremantle Dockers. And this crowd, gee, they make a noise. I think they make a lot more noise than the uh, West Coast supporters, They Ross. are a bit more vocal, Pete, yes. So the kick by Parker. Down towards the pocket. Ruse had a quiet second half, Paul Ruse. A good first half. Well, the locals will certainly find out next week who makes the most noise. History making day in the city of Perth. Yes, unfortunately, there, Sandy, though, because it's an Eagles home game, there'll be more Eagles supporters than Dockers. Yep. But it'll be reversed later in the year. Peter Mann marks just inside 50. Yes, and uh, Mann's played a fair bit uh, forward this year. Jared Neesham said in an interview before the game that uh, he struggled in the back half. And fortunately, Parker, Jones and others were able to hold up in the half-back area and allowed Mann to go forward, where he's been pretty effective in most of the games. Kicked a goal in the third quarter. 
Well, can he bent that back enough for another one? Well, they're finishing full of running. Two to Peter Mann. 21-12, 1.38. They lead by 40 points over Sydney, 15-8. Yes, and Mann now goes off the ground. And uh, after four years at North Melbourne, he was one of those players that they wanted to stand up. His feet there's Park up. He's been a bit of a find this year. Goes long, and then Mann takes a good grab. So Fremantle by 40 points. Derek Kickett's gone out of the game. Hand pass to Brutton. Brutton chips it in the half foot. Here's Creswell. Races in the goal, Darren Creswell, and has hit the post. And he's hit that big, thick part of the post down the bottom. <laughs> does that bring back memories yeah, for you? It certainly does. <laughs> <laughs> the reason being, if it hits a bit higher, more chance to uh, get it in, aren't you, Ross? Because it's a thinner post. Yeah, now, here's, Le here's Leach. Oh, look at this. He's put it out. In front of Kickett. Kickett races to the half forward too line. Too he far. did run a long way and the umpire has pinged him and Kepler will take the kick. The two number 11s. Darren Kepler on the defensive side of centre. Kicks to the half forward line. Pack of four. Creswell towards Lockett. The strength oh, battle is kick. on. Well, hasn't been paid, but Lockett recovers beautifully. Twists twice, gives it to Kickett, kicks in towards goal and has put it through. Great play by Lockett to recover and then get it to Kickett, Roscoe. Yes, and that's he did that last week a few times, and if they can feed off Lockett like that, you thought it was a free kick, Pete? Well, What's let's this have a look. Holding I, thought on? He, I thought he got grabbed, not here, just after this. When... See? Oh, no. Yeah, he was taken higher initially, but... Uh... Kick it had it. He started like a train and then just faded as the game's gone on. Derek Kicker has kicked two. Rose. McManus. He's showing a bit. But, uh, they'll trouble a lot of sides over here, particularly on hot days, because they just keep control of the ball and keep running. I suppose that's the nature of the game, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. When you think about it, <laughs> McManus. <laughs> you know what I mean, anyway. I'll Kepler, onto the left boot. Where's Lockett? Here he is. Oh, it's a good battle. Now, Riley's a good fullback. He is my favourite player. He is fantastic, uh, Scott Chisholm. McGovern. Look at this. Look at oh, this. Oh, look. O'Reilly. And big pluggers after him. I wouldn't back him in the store, gift plugger. O'Reilly onto the left. <laughs> oh, it's good to watch uh, two great players in action down there. O'Reilly versus Big Tony. And one of the great full forwards of all time. And probably well, could get his thousandth. It's hard to say yeah. that word. Thousandth goal this year. Yep. He's got 998 at the moment, Pete. Would be uh, a unique double if he can uh, bring up his 200th game at the same time. But all that lies ahead. At the moment, it's the Dockers we're concerned about. They hold sway. McManus, a little left foot, chips too wide. Out of bounds on the floor. Tony, hands on hips, heads back to the forward zone. It's a pretty long walk or jog. Sean McManus with garlic. <laughs> the crowd hates it when the umpires it makes it come back a couple yeah. of centimetres. Yeah. Pedantic. Brunton into half forward. No one able to get it out. But the umpire lets it go. Garlic was there. McManus gets it at the bottom. Kelly is caught. They'll get another chance through. Scotty Doreen kicks down in front of Gray. Leach is there and a timely mark for the Dockers. Oh. He goes to half back. That's unlike them going straight down the ground like that. Waters low to the ground. And away he goes to kick it. Kelly gives chase. Kick it bounces from 55 metres. He goes for goal and he misses to the left. One behind. 21-13. Plays 16-9. Under three and a half minutes remaining. 
Yes, impressive display this. The Swans were playing very well in the first half and the Dockers played a brilliant third term. Doreen to half back. Kepler just waited for that ball. Backer comes towards centre wing. And McManus battling hard. Front centre wing. Chips it in. Oh, he's looking there for Kepler. Good play by Kepler to keep that in towards O'Loughlin. He's going to be a good player, O'Loughlin. Oh, clever play to Lewis. The chip passes on an ordinary one to lock it. Oh, oh. great pick up by the big fella. He's got it. Gets in a hand pass. Back in front of goal to base and slips over at the moment. And then there's a legging and a free kick. Advantage paid to Madigan. Back it comes to McGovern, and they're off and running the Fremantle Dockers. Does it easily to O'Reilly. Kickett's chasing him. O'Reilly, however, gets boot to ball down towards Hutton. Wills is there. Wills around his body. Bends it back and kicks a goal. I think he has. His second. And again, the margin is out to 40 points. Yes, I think Big Plug is saying to himself or to Steve O'Reilly, just stop running down the middle of the ground. <laughs> Would you cut that out? I've never seen him look so uh, tired, yeah. Plugger. Yeah, in fact, O'Reilly's pretty weary too. It's been uh, good attacking footy in here. Wills just kicking the harder one. With limited opportunities. Sandy mentioned a couple of goals. 145 plays 105. Burton just props underneath it. And he wins it down to Dale Kicker. Oh, there's danger because Winston's wide. Look at him. I love watching Winston. And that's why. It's six, Andy, isn't it? Couldn't do no wrong. Six goals to Winston Abraham. Three of them in this term, Roscoe. Yes, and I must say, I've already given my votes and... Uh, you haven't put him in? Well, it's one of those things uh, Pete said the way he's been chatting I should have but uh, when the game had to be won a couple of other players I had in front of him but it's been a great display one on each of the first three quarters and three in this last as you mentioned it's just been fantastic well Sandy you like watching Winston uh, Abraham and I like watching Scott Chisholm down the other end they, but it all adds up to exciting football when you watch the Dockers play they are terrific here's Miller out towards Parker they're still running fast, uh, the Fremantle boys. It's a hot day. A kick in towards forward. Big Spider Burton was there. No mark. Wills has got it. Andrew Wills caught. Gets in a hand pass. Rose goes the big punch. Jones is there. Taken by Doreen. Out towards the halfback area. Huskus. Now Garlic. Here he is. Scott Chisholm at the back. Reads it beautifully, and off he goes. Hand pass over the top, and he finds Miller. Miller goes on to Scotty Waters, one of the best on the ground, no doubt. He goes wide towards Wills and Hutton, and you can bet Winston will be somewhere nearby. Hutton gets caught, pulled to the ground. He didn't have the football. He will have the free kick. Poor old Winston had to run from the half-back line to get down this. <laughs> You're asking a lot of Well, money. I'm pumping up for, for a vote. Uh, oh, dear. Here we see Hutton here just uh, controlling and then get grabbed. <laughs> Too long by kick it. So John Hutton, 6-4 Ross, is it? Yes. To date? Yes. Three in the first and three in the third. So let's see if he can kick his first goal at this end of the ground. From 47 metres. Looks pretty good. He has. So he's got seven and Winston's got six. Yes, and what I've admired about John Hutton's game today is, this, although I have made some perhaps critical comments about the way he does play, is he's always presented himself. If he could just time his leads at times a little better and just get his hands a little softer sometimes when he goes for a mark, he'll take more marks, then get himself more opportunity to shoot at goal. And if he can convert better, be a marvel. Well, almost 22,000 fans here at the Wacker today, and many following the Dockers would be delighted with this performance. Wills rips it out of the centre once again. He's finishing on a high. So too is Johnny Hutton. 
what a way to finish. Oh, dear. Well, it's a great catalyst for him to work on for uh, the ensuing games. I think it's coming into this game as the sign has gone, Sandy. Let's see if he can finish with number eight for the day. The drop punts on its way. I think he has. John Hutton has kicked eight goals. So, Winston, you might miss out on the vote. He's finished with six and a standing ovation. Listen to this for the Dockers. A standing ovation.